in the coop to get eats. You know what I mean? It's hot and it's not even in the hundreds yet. We'll be eating eggs in no time, folks! Waking up early and getting out in the garden is a constant reminder that you reap what you sow. Some people like to say the early bird gets the worm, but around here we like to say, if you shoot dangin', we hangin'. And let me tell you something, we love to go hang out with our animals as much as possible. They bring tons of joy to our life and we really wouldn't know what to do without them. So today, we're going to set up the barn so they can have an awesome summer. Oh, good morning, or whenever you're watching this. It's morning for us. <laughs> yeah, uh, already sweating. Already sweating. It's a hot one. We got our coffee, did coffee crackers. Our ranch hand should be coming out in just a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, we went ahead and fed. We watered the plants. The plants are looking freaking awesome. They are. If you guys don't know, we're talking about Adam helped uh, us plant a garden out here. It's on his channel, or I guess we helped him plant a garden. Yeah. And uh, go check that out if you guys want. But they are looking really good. Uh, it's kind of an experiment, but also showed them if you work hard, you can get things in life and a garden is definitely that so today our mission is to kind of clean up around here you guys could see we just got boards and stuff our uh, feed things get thrown around the animals knock That's stuff the over huge thing is yeah. the feed barrel situation so as you can tell we've been having to leave stuff out here because the animals get into it and so today hopefully by the end of this video it'll all be cleaned up be good to go we're gonna make it summer ready for them and have a feed room so we don't have to uh, make it difficult anymore. So let's get into that. <laughs> so what exactly are we doing here? Uh, taking down these boards. Why? Pretty much, we want them to be able to get in and out of here, just like this. We had it all set up for what? The babies. And what do we not have anymore? We don't have the gold babies anymore. We actually still need to get rid of some of the boys, but uh, we need where they can come in and out, but also that room in there where we did the dry pour, we're going to build a feed room. Yes. Finally. This is going to be a game changer yes. on the ranch. So, freaking excited. You guys are wondering what this is, but bars of uh, Irish spring soap up to try to deter the flies and it works pretty good yeah so if you want to check out exactly the how-to of putting soap in a bag and hanging a bag you can go to the crocker yeah, like you need to watch the video it's a pretty it. detailed uh how-to so we're gonna get busy on this room in here mm -hmm. clean it up a little bit but we're gonna have to build a door we may or may not have hinges we'll see how this goes Here in the barn, you guys can tell we got some uh, chicken poo. They've been nesting up in here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to do something when we build this out as the feed room. And we're gonna use this one because it's got the concrete floor mm -hmm. and uh, it'll be easy for us to uh, leave stuff in here. But uh, we need to clean this up. And then uh, as you guys can tell, we got some weeds growing back there. We got holes where the animals are digging. Mm -hmm. uh, when our ranch hand wakes up, he gonna be digging some dirt. We're gonna put it in here. We'll use a tractor and stuff, but that's the reason why we need a ranch in is to help us knock this stuff out. Where are you going? Uh, just a little gopher here. Gopher? Go. While Danielle's gone, uh, picking up some brooms and stuff, I'm gonna try to get some of these little trees that are growing back, get them out of here. Thank you. 
Guys, already sweating. It's 8.30, almost, 7 yeah, in the morning. Almost 9 in the morning. And it's probably it's, already 80 degrees maybe? Yeah. 70 something? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a hot day. It's going to be a hot day. That's why we're trying to get up early, get this done. And uh, we are going to start a compost because we have a garden now. And a lot of you are saying, hey, get all this, make a compost out of it, which is an amazing idea. It's something, mm -hmm. you know, we, we're going to do eventually. We didn't, uh, we didn't expect to have a garden. So now that we do, let's start a compost. We won't be able to use it right now. But if you start now, you have it for later. Strong work. <laughs> Can I tell you how? Hard I tried to do that. <laughs> yeah. So Danielle's grabbing the broom. We're gonna sweep it off real good. You can come through. Okay. And uh, we do know that if you have uh, the uh, top one going up, you could pull the gate off. We didn't care about it at the beginning because we didn't want any any of the animals to get stuck. If they were gonna get stuck, they'd knock the gate off. It's fine. Now that it's gonna be a feed room, we're gonna turn that top one over and it'll lock that gate in really good. We need to make sure 100% they cannot get in here and get the speed. So as you guys can tell, this concrete that we did the dry pour is holding up absolutely amazing. It's been months now. This is where they come in and they uh, hang out. So it's definitely dug up. And then you can tell we have all the straw back there so they can lay in that. Uh, the barn has come in handy so much. It's awesome. I'm very glad that we built it. I'm glad we did the dry pour. It. I guess, yeah. yeah. Um, we still have Credit to. Credit's due. We still have to do some things on it, but as is, I'm pumped. All of these door openings and everything keeps it cool during the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, they hang out in here all the time for shade. Oh, it's just an awesome, awesome thing to have a barn. Last year we had a water tower. Yeah. This year we have a barn. That's huge. So one of our goals <laughs> is you guys see all these feed bowls everywhere. We have these feed tubs everywhere that's why we're trying to build a feed room and then we need to find uh feeding troughs we can't find any that are low to the ground for miss breakfast and the baby goats so uh, we, we're, we're trying we're trying we're trying to figure it out uh, miss breakfast a little and so we can get bigger troughs for the big goats and the uh um, cows and stuff but we need some small ones so we're on the lookout for that we might have to make our own Probably. but that's the thing we want to do is get rid of all the bowls get rid of all these containers just out here uh the goats just peeing and so we're trying to get it a little more organized summer ready get it comfortable and clean this place up well it looks like uh we got some new ranch <laughs> hands back there they're trying to do some tractor work I don't know how well they're gonna do, but they're they're trying. Hoppus is trying to earn his keep around here so we don't get rid of him. Are you uh, waxing this up like a skateboard? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Some comments said too to rub the soap on the wood. It's supposed to help with flies. Keep just spread the smell. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I'm just trying. So you just spreading? Yeah, we're just spreading. But there's a fly right there, so I don't know how well it's working. Well, spread it so you see. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. There you go. I mean, you can do it like this where it's off. Well, this is why we need a gate. Can't work in these conditions. Come on, y'all. We trying to work. <laughs> All right, let's put a gate on. Keep these suckers out. No. Limbo! That ain't going nowhere. You gonna eat my ranch? Just put it right in that socket. All right, guys, we gotta. Is this put, a zoom? Yeah. Put this gate on here. So I think most of y'all may know that's where the eggs are. Maybe she's making a nest. Uh, get you a wrench and then you're just gonna put that over 
and then it'll help you twist, and that's an easy way to do it. Uh, our ranch hand's on his way over. We're going to put this gate in and everything, and then we are uh, going to get the tractor going, put the dirt in there. That's why it looks the way it does. He's comfy. Knock this out. And then we got to figure out a way to lock this gate so they can't get in. I have an idea, but we'll see what happens. Focus on him. Might have to get a wrench to undo this, but I guess we will have to. Um, so that's got to come up. Uh, I doubt this fits. Nope. So we'll undo this. Ranch hand. Is it righty tighty or lefty loosey? To what? For a bolt. For a bolt? Yeah, is it righty tighty or is it lefty loosey? What are you talking about? To tighten it or loosen it? Yeah, so is it righty tighty? The answer is yes to my question. Frank <laughs> Shane, you mind holding the gate up in here? So this is going to have to go on the next one. Uh, oh, dang it. I got to put this bolt on the other side. All right, hold on. this out. Oh, come on! It's like this needs to stay up just a hair. So, I need that to go down here. Alright, got it on there. I think that'll work. And then, uh, now, we need to come up with a good way to lock this. Um, excuse me, ladies. Trying to film here. The righty. She should have filmed whenever she turned it to the left. Was well, it righty tidy or lefty loosey? Turning it right. So righty tidy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to tighten it, you turn it to the right. Righty tidy. Lefty loosey. Proud of you, man. If that were me, though, I'd get it way tighter. I'm still going. I, I think. Why are you sweating? Is it. I was already sweating. Um. If I go too far, will it like strip or break? Nah, you won't. Your you, your strength won't be able to do that. We need an arm wrestle. All right. That's or good. just see who can lift the most weight. All right, I guys. Arm wrestle and cut it. So we went ahead and flipped this one. So now the gate's not coming off. Uh, pigs won't be able to push in. And then we got a, a chain. And then uh, put this one on real tight. We'll come in and out of that. We're gonna come up with a lock system. And I think that'll work, and then we'll bring all the uh, feed barrels in here, and then we'll end up bringing the feed, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna train the dogs to jump in here to eat out of a... Uh, um, Self-feeder. Self-feeder, mm -hmm. and then uh, that we can leave that, it's easier, and then they can jump in whenever they want, eat throughout the day, because a lot of people think they don't eat enough. But Adam, you feed them plenty, don't you? Yep, and I separate the food so the goats don't get it. Yeah, and I wanted to say, you need to quit picking on us all the time. My bad. Sorry. I like to publicly apologize. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we just got these containers everywhere, so we're going to grab them, and we're going to put them in their spot. Cowboy! Cowboy did it. Cowboy! 
Come on, boy. Hey, cowboy, come here. All right, guys, you just saw they easily jumped out, doing fine. But that's how you train, jump in and out. We'll end up putting their feed. We gotta find a lock for it real quick. But you can definitely tell, jump in and out, and they'll have their own self feeder. Plus we'll feed them uh, throughout the day as well, just to make sure they are getting it. It's gonna come in handy big time. Why don't you make it uh, like solar fans? Push against it. Oh, perfect. Right. Try it now, breakfast. <laughs> all right, so the time it took us to go get that lock and come back, they'd already came in and moved all the uh, feed bins around. They're, don't don't fall for it. Look at they ain't innocent. Don't fall for it, okay? Uh, but uh, it is awesome, again, to have this barn. They can all come in here, hang out. It actually feels pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I'm sweating because we've been running around. But... but Definitely the difference of it in here versus out in the sun. Massive difference. Again, it's breezy. Yes. It's a great barn. So we're going to go ahead and fill up these containers with the feed. We're going to put the feed in the uh, uh, cell feeder for the dogs. Then we're going to just let it be, and that'll be the test. Mm -hmm. Will they break in or attempt to break in, and will they get in? So this is dog food. <laughs> them all wanting to come in here all these guys the dolls can jump over got all the chickens and everything I mean I think this gonna work out breakfast already he trying to get in he's the one that'll be able to do it so that's the test yeah he's strong I think this will work <laughs> gotta get some videos out so we told them hey you youtuber make sure to get that out then come back and join the fun of digging dirt <laughs> ladies <laughs> Lambo you look at that you look like my haircut in high school and if you get it on me we'll see what happens to you you gotta you gotta time it. Okay, there you go. 
Right there. There you go. Right there. There you go. Good thing that ate coops too. I was gonna say, this is that good work off coops. It's worth it. I will work all day in the coop to get coops, you know what I'm saying? I think it's just more so it gives us the energy to do this. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, it is almost 90 degrees outside. It is hot. Feeling it. Uh, camera's overheating. I don't know when it stops, but we got it almost full to the top. Um, I don't know how long that took, but I mean, we are just drenched head to toe. And uh, to this is why we got the pool. This is why this we is built why. the pool. So we just go over there, jump in, cool off, come back. Um, again, Adam is over there working on a video to get out to you guys. Uh, he will be helping. I know in this video we said we'll be working with our ranch hand and all that. He's been taking care of some stuff, and uh, we do send him off to do um, different tasks during the day. So he's taking care of that. We're doing this. He'll be over here in a minute. Uh, depending on how we feel and the camera's working or not, we may continue on this. We may take a break, but uh, very, very pleased with this. This is the soil we need in a garden yeah oh my gosh so soft. It's it great. it's freaking awesome but the chickens are enjoying in here so far none of the animals are trying to get in there i think it's going to work out great yeah. uh very very happy we got chickens out here uh bathing. trying to uh bathe in it it is a hot one Holy cow, guys. It's hot and it's not even in the hundreds yet. But man, I'm glad to have the barn. I think if the rooster gets to cool off like that, we should get the pool. It's freaking hot, I'm getting in. Feels good though. Get in, baby. Woo! Gosh, it feels so good. Boy, we'll be eating eggs in no time, folks. I got two already. So, oh, uh, just like it's meant to be. Then. Meant to be. Ooh. If it's meant to be. I'm gonna let down. But who is, boys? We'll be collecting some eggs. Your so now. We'll get some of this straw without the poo in it. In each one. Uh, we'll do a couple because they're only going to use a couple realistically. Why is this straw so good? Because it's brand new. Like today? No, we did it for the ducks. I'll do that one, you do that one, and then we'll do this one. This one right here. Or right here. Uh, this, put a little more in this top one. And then this, they jump, they jump up, they get on this, and they get in. Yeah, you can put that in whichever one. So now in the morning, 
We'll come in and feed. We have a feed room. And then we'll come over, we'll collect the eggs. And then... Uh, Barn tour. Oh, we'll be doing good. They're already... Look at them enjoying that dirt over there. That fresh dirt. They love it. Heck yeah. All right, guys, it's pretty freaking wild. It's looking like a real barn in here. Yeah. Um, it looks phenomenal with the dry pour concrete, all the feed. We got the dog feeder in there. Uh, we already taught them how to jump over. Every morning we'll still come in and we'll show them the feed. Uh, they're chilling over here in this area. We raised it about six to eight inches and uh, we'll be ready for dry pour if we decide to do that. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit, let it uh, pack settle. in there, settle, and then uh adam and i at some point maybe this weekend we'll come do this one knock that out but just the fact that this whole side over here is covered in straw we have our chicken hen which is a nesting box uh <laughs> we can collect our eggs uh adam you've been pretty excited lately to be picking up eggs yeah have you eaten any yet no i'm waiting to accumulate enough all right so uh we're going to probably on your channel at some point i want to buy a store-bought egg and you're gonna taste the difference. See if you know the difference between a, a store-bought egg and a and a farm fresh egg. I've heard um, we when we used to eat um, duck eggs. I I remember they were bigger. And yeah, they taste a little bit different. Yeah, duck eggs definitely have a little gamey taste to it. Which we did find a duck egg. I think once before. I don't remember. I think it was out here. But a little gamey. But I think we had one either in this barn or in the water tote one time remember. or water tank. Yeah. yeah, literally one. We found one egg. Um, but uh, I don't know. It just feels very good to slowly get this where it needs to be. Yeah, the animals love it already. Yeah, Look it, at that. it feels awesome, and they're all hanging out. It's actually not bad, right? It feels pretty cool in here. Yeah. Um, so that's good for the animals and stuff. But uh, we worked our butts off. We jumped in the pool, cooled off. Adam just uh, pumped out a video, put a, a video on his channel, which came out yesterday as you guys are watching this he'll probably be putting one out after this of us doing a few projects that we'll be working on so if you haven't checked out crocker's ranch hand over there in that coops hat looking sporting good the coops. sporting the coops yeah. oh. oh so guys we appreciate y'all watching it was an awesome time getting all this done the best thing ever teamwork we all work together we get it done sometimes divide and conquer sometimes we work together and it feels really freaking good i just hold on hold on you look like a, a real rancher right there with that shirt on, that hat, that drill next to you with that chicken hen in the back. Oh, oh. Dang. There Send him off. What you want to tell him? Um, definitely subscribe to Crocker's Ranch Hand and also come back for the next Crocker's video. Boom. That was so good. I can't follow up on that. <laughs> Bye, guys. See, I remember. Oh, she wants to get that apple. Like, which one was my favorite? Hey, button. Hey, bye, guys.